Hello everybody! In today's lecture, I will talk about how we can compute gain and phase margins from the Bonner plot. Okay, before going to the details regarding Bonner plot, let's remember gain and phase margins from the next one. Okay, uh, and let's start with the gain margin. Uh, and this is a transfer function. It's a typical transfer function which satisfies our assumptions, and its next plot is given here. And I provided the Bonner plot next to it. Okay, so in the next plot, in order to compute the gain margin, we first need to find the point where the polar plot crossing the real axis, which is the point here. Okay, and after that, what we do is we find the distance of this point with respect to the major axis. Let's call it sigma. Okay, and we know that as we aim to find the next plot, at some point it will cross the minus one point, right? And in order to capture the margin of stability, we compute the gain margin simply using this formula 1 over sigma. Okay, this is the graphical representation of how we can compute the gain margin. Okay, if I give you a Nyquist nice plot, what you need to know is you need to know this quantity. If I give you a detailed like uh, Nyquist nice plot where you can technically easily compute the distance, it can be relatively easy to compute the gain margin from the Nyquist nice plot. Okay, uh, if you want to compute the gain margin using the analytical formulas without plotting next plot, what you need to do is you need to first find the phase of the polar plot expression, which is technically GOL, J omega P, and you need to find the point where the phase crosses the minus 180 degrees because at this point your polar plot is crossing the negative real axis. Okay, if you find this point, let's clean this arrow. Okay. We call this frequency as phase or gain for sorry, no, it's phase, phase cross over frequency. Okay, so once you find the or compute this phase cross frequency, what you need to do is find the magnitude of your g o j omega p at this point, which technically give you the sigma p value and Gain margin can be simply computed using this relation. Sorry for that. Okay, this. Okay, so this is how you can compute gain margin from the next plot or using the analytical expression. Okay, so we generally use control theory, gain margin in decibel units. In order to compute it, you simply take the gain margin decibels 20 log 10 gain margin in linear units. Or technically, this is equal to this quantity. So what you can do is you can technically find the phase cross over frequency, find the magnitude of your system or transfer function at the specific frequency, take the logarithm, multiply 20, and then multiply with minus, and minus coming from the one over case, as you can see. Mm, it's your gain margin. Okay, so at this point, what we are going to do, concentrate on this. Let's clean everything. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. So it's good. So I'm trying to everything. Okay. So if you understand how you can compute phase and no, gain margin from an alpha formula and next plot, it's relatively easy to do the same thing using the other plots. Okay, so we need to concentrate on this and these two variables. Okay, so what's the meaning of this function? It says that compute the phase and try to find the frequency where the phase is crossing minus 180 degrees or plus 180 degrees. In general, we use minus 180 degrees. Okay. Once you computed this frequency, go and compute the gain margin or uh, the gain of the system in decibel units. Okay. This is m dB at the associated frequency and minus of this is your gain margin. Okay, so the basic idea is gain margin is we try to avoid the minus one point in the next plot, and when my uh, phase is crossing this frequency, I want a smaller gain than ma as much as possible to be like robust or stable with respect to the gain. Okay, so what is this? It says that find the phase. The good thing is our next uh, border plot is already given the phase diagram, right? And then look at the point where it crosses the minus 180 degrees. What we need to do is we need to draw a line. And as you can see, I already drew it here on the minus 100, minus 180 degrees. Okay, 
Then find the point where it crosses the 180 degrees, and this is this point is my phase crossover frequency. Okay. So what we need to do is once we computed this phase, we need to find the decibel unit of the magnitude at this frequency. Let's do it together and okay, sorry for that. Oop. So I'm trying to put the lower. Okay, it's here, it's good. Okay. So let's draw a line here. Whoop. Okay, it's very good. Let's move it here. Move it here. Okay. So once you draw this line, you find the point where uh, your border plot crosses this point. Record the gain at decibel units. Let's call it this is m g. Your gain margin is simply equal to equal to minus m g or in a different framework gain margin is equal to this distance okay so and this is your gain margin in this budget so as you can see for this body plot gain margin says that it is 8.5 decibels okay i think it's fairly easy but one thing important is your gain margin is positive if your gain is below the zero db line which means that your next plot is smaller, such that it is away from the minus one. If your gain at the phase crossover frequency is in this region, your gain margin is negative, and it means that the system is unstable. Okay, this is everything that we need to know about the gain margin, and let's move on to the phase margin. Okay, so this is the main phase margin. Let's move here. Okay, so let's move here. So, so how do we compute the phase margin from the next plot, which is the more like a massive part in terms of computationally. We first draw a unit circle, which is given here. Of course, we have the body plot or a polar plot. We find the point where the polar plot is crossing this uh, unit circle, and at this point, the frequency that satisfies is called the gain crossover frequency. Okay, so this gives us a phase vector like this. Okay. And the phase margin is the angle between the negative real axis and this angle. This is our phase margin, and for this system, it's equal to 40 degrees. Okay. And computation of this, both graphically and computational from the formula, is kind of uh, harder than the gain margin. And phase margin is really important for us, and it's a good if we can have a way of computing it is okay. So let's go to the analytical formula. So the idea is finding the gain crossover frequency, and it happens when your magnitude is crossing one. So we need to use this formula. The frequency that satisfies this is called gain crossover frequency. And in order to compute the phase margin, you need to simply compute the phase of the system at the specific frequency, plus pi is your phase margin of the system. Okay. So how we can do the same operation in the bot plot? And we will see if it's easier or not. Okay, let's do it. And let's clean everything to make our life easier. Okay, it's good. Okay, so in this case, so what we need to do is we need to find when our magnitude is crossing one, but our magnitude is in decibel units. So we need to look at when our magnitude in decibel units is crossing this zero dB line. Okay, it's very easy. I need to draw a line at the 0 dB scale, which is given here already, as you can see. Okay, I need to find the frequency where or point where it body plot crosses in this line, which is exactly here. This is good. Okay, so I've already computed my gain crossover frequency. Okay, now I need to find the phase margin. So what I need to do is I need to find or compute the phase at this frequency. Let's do it together. Okay, so I need to draw a line. As you can see, this is nice. Oop. Okay, it's good. I need to look at this face, which is kind of slightly less than 135 degrees. Okay, let's assume that my face is equal to 
137 degrees, something like that. So my phase margin is simply equal to that's not, not margin. This is just phase. Okay, this is phase equal to I plus this phase at the gain cursor frequency, or and which is equal to minus 100 plus 100 minus 37 degrees, which is approximately equal to 42 degrees for the system. Okay, this is how you can compute the phase margin. As you can see, what you need to do is simply understand and read the bot plot to compute, approximate compute these quantities. Uh, in general, gain margin is okay for both Nyquist plot and Boda plots. You can fairly easily compute them, but computation of phase margin from Nyquist plot is really challenging, but it's really easy with the phase margin Boda plot. Okay, now let's solve some examples and to see if we can better understand the process. Okay, so this is a system, and we already computed the phase and gain margin of the system using Nyquist plot. Now the goal is doing it with the Border plots. Okay, so I already drew the border plot for you, and these are actual border plots, not the approximate ones. And let's look at the gain margin. Okay, so what's the gain margin? I need to look at the point where my gain is crossing minus 180 degrees. Okay, let's change the color. Okay, but it's never crossing minus 180 degrees because if you remember, the pole plot is like this for the system. Okay. And no matter what I do, it's never crossing the negative real axis. So gain margin is infinity for the system, and it's also infinity in decibel case. It's good. So gain margin is infinity. Okay, we are done with that. There's no problem. We like this. Now what we need to do is compute the phase margin. Okay, so let's find our ruler. Okay. And let's start with k is equal to 2. When k is equal to 2 is crossing the 0 dB unit, it's actually it's exactly when frequency is equal to 1 radian per second. The phase at this point is equal to minus 90 degrees. Okay. So what is phase margin? In order to compute phase margin, I need to find this length in phase, which is exactly equal to 90 degrees. It's nice, right? It's relatively easy to compute that. Okay, let's do the same thing for the other gain. So let's put a ruler. Okay, so it is, I think, exactly here. And I know that's exactly here. So the phase at this point is equal to minus 120 degrees. So if I look at distance, I can compute the phase margin as 60 degrees. 